how does an issuer decide um, with 3DS2 how to issue the challenge flow versus the frictionless flow? So, so I can take this. Um, so the challenge flow is essentially the same as 3D issuer version one, as, as Adam mentioned. Uh, the frictionless flow is based can be based on transactional risk analysis, right? So the 3D secure version two requires a lot of extra data about the cardholder. We're talking about uh, email, uh, cardholder name and stuff like that, which is, yeah. Um, this makes the issuer, the, the bank uh, has, uh, sorry, the bank then has much more information to work with when they have to actually decide uh, if the cardholder is actually involved in the transaction. Yeah, and and this is uh, a major difference from 3D secure version one, where we found that most of the time this data is not included because it's actually not uh, not required by 3D secure version one. Essentially. Got it. Um, and I'm curious, like, how much of the information that they're gathering is provided by the customer versus, like, some more sort of passive data collection, like, from your browser or things like that? So, for the browser, there are some things like the, the browser accept header. Now we're getting into technical terms, and I apologize. Um, so, these are included. These are not necessarily... Um, um, how should we say, cardholder specific, right? So they could be the same on two different computers. But, you know, if, if, if they're close enough, then it, it might be a, a good match to, along with other data, to actually match the cardholder, uh, to actually ensure that the cardholder is present, right? Uh, along with the, the, um, the browser accept header, there's something called the 3DS method. Um, uh, I did not come up with that naming, so uh, I'm going to apologize for it. I'm not going to apologize for it, but uh, it's it's a way for to let the let the issuer, the ACS, uh, who's acting on behalf of the issuer, actually um, talk to your browser to verify that it, maybe that you've actually purchased stuff from the uh, using the same browser before. So that's that's possible. So I'd, I'd say um, there are some some issues with it, but in general, um, it's it's pretty pretty safe. Uh, sorry, what was the, what was what was it? There, there's a lot of, of good information for issues and the ACS to act on to ensure that the cardholder is uh, present. Uh, a follow up on that um, from some of the early adopters we we have using it, uh, we see really a really variable uh, amount based on the issuer of how often they use the frictionless flow versus the challenge flow. Some issuers seem to still tend towards the challenge flow, while others seem to have really embraced the uh, frictionless flow. Is that something you're seeing across the rest of your portfolio? Most definitely. So uh, specifically for, for the wider Europe and for, for outside Europe, for outside Europe, we see a, a large, much larger percentage of, of frictionless transactions. Mm -hmm. um, and that is related likely to PSD2, which is a new European regulative that really comes into full force uh, on the 1st of January, uh, in a couple of months. Right? Uh, because this requires what's called strong customer authentication, um, which we, I guess we will get into that later. Um, so frictionless and strong customer authentication are not um, necessarily in tune. Um, so, so frictionless does not necessarily give strong customer authentication, depending on the issuer, right? Mm -hmm. So for, for, for local Danish issuers and Swedish issuers, we've seen that, uh, well, let's start with Danish issuers. They give, um, they almost universally use challenge flows, um, even when they could be doing frictionless flows. Mm -hmm. That is because of, of local technical reasons. I mean, Denmark is a small country, so so it, the banks have sort of come together and decided that everyone needs to do to do challenge flows until uh, until the setup setup has evolved. Because essentially, all issuer uh, all issuers in Denmark 
use one of one of three um, uh, implementations uh, yeah to handle card flows but we we're, we're seeing so across our portfolio i i my best guess is we're seeing 70 70% frictionless mm -hmm. uh, these days yeah it's great